Hello, I'm Mary Beard and I'm really pleased to be taking part in the Actors of Dionysus um, Daily Dose and their big night in. I've been thinking about power recently and the end of it. And I've been looking at Suetonius's description of the end of the reign of Nero, where there are uncanny echoes with what might be happening in the White House right now. Now, Suetonius is often taken as a bit of a chatty biographer, but actually he's very acute about the transmission, the succession, and the end of power. And when he comes to describing 68, 68 CE, when Nero's power is failing, uh, he's particularly good, I think. Um, now, the writing's on the wall for Nero, there are successful rebellions happening in Gaul and Spain, but somehow Nero's kind of thinking that it might still be business as usual. And this is what Suetonius has to say, and I'm going to read it to you. He awoke about midnight, and finding that the guard of soldiers had left, he sprang from his bed and sent for all his friends. Since no reply came back from anyone, he went himself to their rooms with a few followers, but finding that all the doors were closed and that no one replied to him, he returned to his own chamber, from which now the very caretakers had fled, taking with them even the bed clothing and a box of poison. Then he at once called for the gladiator Spiculus, or any other adept at whose hand he might find death, and when no one appeared, he cried, Have I then neither friend nor foe? And ran out as to throw himself into the Tiber. Now, I'm not for a minute suggesting um, suicide for Trump or throwing himself in the Tiber, but we do know that there are already stories of White House staffers not coming in, that slowly he's being abandoned. And I think there is a real parallel here. Um, Nero didn't tweet, but I think we know what he might have said if he did.